Hi, this is Albert with Mainland Cycle Center and today I want to show you a 2015 Kawasaki Mule Pro FXT and this is the LE model. Uh, so the LE models typically come with some extras and this one does. Uh, with the LE model you get the alloy wheels, so these great looking uh, 12 inch alloy wheels. It comes standard with LED headlights. LED lights it's got uh, halogen headlight here and then an extra LED headlight here uh, with low and high beams on both of those lights and uh, the combination of those two lights really gives you a nice effect uh, the LED model also comes standard with the top and this has the top that this rear portion of the top flips over to allow you to dump the bed in both this short bed in the long bed mode so what are we talking about short bed long bed mode this is of the new six passenger FXT. Uh, full size doors, really great. Easy to get in and out of. Much easier to use these doors than to use some nets that are uh, just kind of fiddly and kind of a pain. These doors are really easy to get in and out and uh, keep the uh, legs and people inside the machine. So, Pro FXT. One of the things that's so cool about these is you can go from having the six passenger capability with the short bed to having a three passenger single bench seat with a long bed. So you kind of get the best of both worlds. And Kawasaki uh, has really made this process of switching this over very, very easy. And I'm doing it one handed as I'm shooting this video and it's just really easy fold the seat up undo those latches and then from there this scoots forward it's a little easier when you have two hands you can do this without uh, any back and forth but uh, I'll do the best I can oh, that's a little back over here push this side over like I said a little tougher with one hand but uh, really easy to do if you've ever tried to change one of our mule uh, 4010 trans models over uh, you know that was really a two-man job really just couldn't be done with one person very easily uh, I've done it but uh, it, was a t it was a tough job so just like that one-handed I did that uh, you can go from uh, dual bench seats in a short bed to a single bench seat with a long bed now when this is in the long bed mode it's rated at 1,000 pounds of payload capacity so you got this nice big bed, molded tailgate, got drink holders molded into it, you've got some nice little slots molded into the sides here. You can cut like a, uh, a board, a 1x4 or something that you can use as dividers in here. So uh, really cool that Kawasaki incorporated that into there. This is the fastest, uh, most powerful Kawasaki mule we've ever built. This is brand new, doesn't share anything in common really with our old mules. This is fully independent suspension, a two inch receiver on the back, and this thing really does ride smooth. This is a really solid unit, has an 812cc triple cylinder fuel injected uh, liquid cooled motor. We'll go ahead and tilt this bed for you. What we're going to do is put it in the, we'll put it back in that. Uh, two-person mode because I don't want to flip that top over while I'm making this video. Uh, undo this. Boom. Like I said, this is easier to do two-handed than it is one-handed. But still, pretty easy do and then once your latches are undone then your seat your bed just flips up and there's a look at that motor that 812 cc fuel injected liquid cooled motor you can see the size of those shocks the chassis on this bike very heavy duty Kawasaki is known for really building stuff uh, very high quality it's got a little uh, sh uh, uh, shock on it that makes that easy to dump you saw I did that one-handed real easily but uh, just really great versatility with this machine and that ability to carry six passengers and a short bed. Uh, you've also got some 12 volt power outlets here in the back. Uh, shoulder harnesses for all the passengers. And uh, the parking brake is now up here on the dash. You've got drink holders on each end. The steering wheel is adjustable. There, 
digital instrumentation. So you've got uh, digital readout if you're familiar with uh, our Terex or uh, Brute Force. This instrumentation is very similar to that. You can hear how quiet that is. This thing really runs smooth. Got selectable two wheel drive, four wheel drive now with a push button on the dash, uh, lock and unlock on the rear differential so you can still unlock that rear differential. This is your headlights off, low beam, and high beam, and then this is those LED lights uh, off, low beam, and high beam. And then you can see there's some blanks here where you can add additional switches, um, and so that'll make a real nice look for additional accessories that you'll add. You can see it's got a cubby hole there, there's a glove box on that end, another drink holder. These are an automatic transmission, just a gas pedal or brake pedal. Got low, high, neutral, and reverse, so very easy to maneuver there. It's a sport style steering wheel, a little hard to see. We've got this little marketing book on front, but it's a really nice looking steering wheel. These are power steering. And uh, so with the power steering, very, very easy to drive. You've got this little compartment here in the front. Not really intended for storage, but for maintenance. Your radiator is under here. Behind this panel is all of your electrical fuses and things like that. I'm not going to take it completely off. Uh, but uh, coolant reservoir is in here. This does just pick up off of here, so you don't have to hold it up like that. Uh, again, fully independent suspension, disc brakes all the way around, got a disc brake on every wheel. And when you're, again, when you look at these Kawasaki, if you just look how heavy duty the A-arms are, look at the size of that differential, the overall diameter. Um, the radiator is mounted pretty high in the unit, which is good, should keep it out of the mud, and that kind of thing. Great looking 26 inch tall tires. There's your fuel fill. The battery is located right in here, and there's a couple of little, those little latches. Anyway, just pop those little latches, and you have access to the battery with no tools. But uh, really, just a fantastic machine. If you uh, would like to drive one of these Mule Pro FXTs, we'd invite you to stop by the dealership, uh, and take a ride on our test track, uh, and come see what they're all about. This really is a great alternative to some of the other units that are on the market, and I think this is going to be a very, very popular Mule. Uh, We're just loving it so far. Very smooth, great power, top speed of about 46 miles an hour, and uh, just a really, really smooth ride on this new Mule Pro FXT. All right. Uh, we are Mainland Cycle Center. We're located in Lamarck, Texas. We're about 30 minutes south of downtown Houston, just off of I-45. You can find us online at mainlandcyclecenter.com. Uh, by phone at 409-948-4969, and we would just love it. If you would give us a call, shoot us an email, or even better, come by and see us in person here at Mainland Cycle Center, where we would love to help you just any way that we can. Hey, thanks for watching.